government is set to acquire 15 aeroplanes as part of efforts to resuscitate the ailing air. Zimbabwe, Transport and Infrastructure Development Minister Dr. Joram Gambo has said. Transport and Infrastructural Development Minister Dr. Joram Gambo discusses Air Zimbabwe operations with the airline's acting CEO Mr. Edmund Mikona during a familiarization tour in Harare. Looking on is Airtsim Technical Operations Acting Director Mr. Joseph Marawa. Picture by John Mansongo in an interview recently, Dr. Gambo said plans were at an advanced stage for the Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe to acquire the planes under a public-private partnership PPP agreement with investors in the diaspora. The Civil Aviation Authority is on the verge of acquiring 15 new airplanes from Malaysia under a lease agreement, he said. The deal was penned between government and a private company, DIDG, a consortium of business partners from the diaspora. Dr. Gambo said Air Zimbabwe was reeling under a huge debt burden, which limited it from applying for credit from the market. Government has managed to rope in partners from the diaspora who are interested in the local airline, he said. Under this agreement, which I initially planned to sign with Malaysia Airline, the DIDG Diaspora Infrastructure Development Group company will facilitate the acquisition of these planes under a lease agreement, and this will be renewable after five years, said Dr. Gambo. Firstly, I had suggested that we enter into an agreement with a Malaysian airline, but the Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe's books were in the red. We could not meet loan requirements. Dr. Gambo said government had settled for DIDG, the same company that is involved in the National Railways of Zimbabwe NRZ deal, which offered to assist in acquiring the planes from Malaysia. The national airline is reeling under $330 million debt, he said. Its balance sheet is in bad state at the moment, hence these other interventions. Dr. Gambo said his ministry's mandate was to oversee the rehabilitation of three major sectors, aviation, roads and rail transport. As the minister who has been given chance to continue with the work, I have started my mandate, and I have started with the implementation of Bait Bridge Harare Dualization Project, he said. The Harare Ring Road and Harare Chirandu Highway Dualization will also go ahead after we signed an agreement with a Chinese company. I have also implemented the $400 million recapitalization project for the National Railways of Zimbabwe, and lastly, the Civil Aviation Recapitalization Deal. Dr. Gambo retained his post as the Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Development after the appointment of a new cabinet by President Emerson Nangagwa recently. Nangagwa took over the reins after former President Robert Mugabe was forced out by a military coup. The Chronicle